welcome. We will use two lessons to learn how to write an imaginary story. Students will be able to write in the format of the imaginary writing. In the writing task of story, students may be asked to write imaginary stories. Sometimes they need to be very creative. For example, you woke up one morning and found everyone had disappeared. Describe what had happened. Stories can begin in four different ways. It can start with the description of a character, the description of the setting, action, or dialogue. Below are some different openings to a story. Read them through and decide which type of opening it is. One, shut up! Shouted Jim. He was fed up of Sarah telling him to have a bath. He would have done it when he wanted. Two. Betty was a lazy girl. Even her mother thought so. She was so lazy. She couldn't even be bothered to pick her own nose. Three, the door burst open. Leaves swirled around the passage. Distant screams could be heard, as the misty night grew darker and colder. Four. Mary lived in a small, quiet town in Xi'an, surrounded by fields and meadows. At this time of year, it was especially beautiful, as all the flowers were out to bloom. Five. Oh, for goodness' sake! Who stole my favorite pencil this time? Not me. Don't even try to blame me. I mean, took it. Protested Lucy. Six. Ugly. That's how you would describe Billy Bobbins, ugly, what with his large spotty nose, crooked teeth, and lazy eye. He wasn't exactly a model, but nevertheless, Lucy still fancied him rotten. Seven, Graham had the letter in his hand. Time was running out. He had to get to the post office in double quick time. This was his last chance. Eight, the sun went down over the tall towers that loomed over the smoke-filled city. Shanghai was a pretty impressive place, a place that once you had been, you didn't want to live. How to write a good story? When we write a story, we use the past tense, the past simple, and past continuous. A variety of adjectives and an expected ending will make your story more interesting. And of course, give a title to your story. The following is the plan of the story, which can help you to write a story step by step. Paragraph one should be an introduction. You can set the story by answering some WH questions, like who, when. Where and what? The main body should be in paragraph two and three. You can develop the story here, like writing the events before the main event, the main event itself. You can also describe the weather, people's feelings or emotions as well. Conclusion should be in the paragraph four or in the last paragraph to end the story. In the end of the story, you can think of what happened in the end, how people felt, explain the consequences or results of what happened. To make a story more interesting and to know more about the characters' thoughts and feelings, characters often speak in a story. In fiction, this is called dialogue or direct speech. When writing dialogue, there are a few important punctuation rules to remember. When a character speaks, his or her words are put inside quotation marks, or sometimes called inverted comma. These are put before and after quotation. Only the words actually said are inside the quotation marks. Commas must separate the quotation from narration. For example, 
You can call me dude. Jeff Lebowski said. There is a comma after dude to show that it is the end of the quotation, but not the end of the sentence. You must always start a new paragraph when the different character speaks. Look at the example. Each time a different character speaks, a new paragraph is started with indentation. Capital letters are used to begin speech, even when it does not begin a written sentence. For example, Lebowski told Donny, "Take it easy, man." Dialogue is much more interesting when different verbs are used other than said to describe how the characters are talking. Here are some words you can think about using. For example, replied, shout, screamed, asked, wondered, state, hint, suggest, advised, whispered, teased. Exclaimed, questioned. Adverbs are also useful to describe how a character speaks. I love you, she said. You can use softly, harshly, quickly, slowly, hesitantly, angrily, laughingly, sarcastically. Here is a quick exercise. Rewrite the dialogue below with the correct punctuation and make it more interesting by replacing "said" with a more interesting verb or adding appropriate adverb. Please take a look of the following sentences of the quick exercise. We can use "remarked." Exclaimed and asked to replace said. Also, we can use dialogue to make the story more interesting. Here is the outline of a story. Background of the setting should be in the introduction. Characters are introduced as well. Once upon a time, there lived a sad young girl called Cinderella. Her stepmother and stepsisters didn't like her. They made Cinderella work all day, every day. She was dressed in rags, yet she was more beautiful than her stepsisters. One day, a ball was to be held at court where the prince will be choosing his bride. The stepsisters were getting ready to go. Cinderella wanted to go as well, but her stepmother wouldn't let her. Here is the body of the story. A fairy appeared, and with a flick of her magic wand, Cinderella was wearing the most beautiful dress. The fairy turned a pumpkin into a sparkling coach. Six mice became white horses, while the seventh became a coachman. Go to ball," said the fairy. "But remember, you must leave at midnight, for that is when the spell ends." Cinderella arrived at the ball. And the prince was struck by her beauty when he set his eyes on her. He asked her to dance, and they danced all evening. When the clock struck midnight, she rushed outside without saying goodbye. She even lost one of her slippers. In the end of the story, the prince picked up her slipper and asked every girl in the town to try on the slipper to see who it fitted. The slipper fitted Cinderella perfectly. Cinderella joyfully accepted the prince's proposal and lived happily ever after. So, a good story structure should provide answers to all these questions: Who are the characters? Where is the story set? How did Cinderella get to the ball? What happened at the ball? How did the prince find Cinderella again? How did the story end? Read the following story. Write a good title for the following story. He looked around. It's dark, and the sky had a black color without any stars. He thought about his girlfriend. 
There is no chance that she died. I have known her for twelve years, and she is strong enough. I will see her again. I'm sure about that. Tom heard nothing but the silence. Never before had he heard absolutely nothing. And suddenly he realized that he was alone. There are no other creatures on this planet. Everything was destroyed. A tear drop rolled over his pale face, and he took the first step on this unknown planet. After reading the story, here is the suggested title: "The Last Man in the Galaxy." Now do the exercise to test yourself. There are two pages of the exercise. Complete the following story by adding the roast of the people, the places in the blanks. You can stop the video for a while to do the exercise. Play the video to check the answers. When you finish, bye.